So as some of you might know, every Friday, the dev team for Foundry release some news about upcoming updates and things they are talking about. And with the latest Friday dev blog, we have some big news. So modding is going to get full support in the next update. So let's talk about it. So let's start talking about a new member to join the team who has been a part of the modding of Foundry for a while. And the dev team have just released officially joined the team to help with providing modern support via the Steam Workshop. And they go by the name of Urkel. Now, if you are a part of the Foundry Discord, you might have seen Urkel floating around in there. And he is one of the key people to supply us with mods for the game so far. So as you can see, following that, they go on to explain that they are adding Steam Workshop support. So now you can easily share and download all of your favorite mods through the workshop. Plus, there's a new in-game mod menu where you can manage all of your mods that you wish to install. I then go on to talk about some mods that will be implemented during the next big update. Now this mod has already been available and some of us have been using it, especially if you're part of the Foundry Discord and have seen in the mod section in that Discord. And this mod is something that Urkel created where you can tweak the game's code to change the output quantities of your machines. So as I show in this example here, they have changed the machine's output to 4. It does look pretty simple to use and could implement some personal challenges if you wish to. But I'm more interested in your thoughts in this mod being implemented. Do you think this is a good direction to go to or do you want or do you feel it's a little bit less say cheating? Although it does make me think of a new challenge. Maybe we could do a series where we change all the outputs to one and basically like an ultra hard mode and see if we can actually fulfill what the game requires with just one output per machine. It'd be interesting to know how big your factory has to be to be able to sustain the requirements that the game asks you for. So the last two things they talk about and that they will be adding into the Steam Workshop will be the Foundry Mod Kit and the Foundry Assets Pack. So let's have a look at the Mod Kit first. So the Mod Kit will enable you to add your own new assets into the game via a Unity project, allowing you to customize the way machines look and also their animations, allowing for customization. So we can have a look at an example of this that the devs kindly put a short clip on their dev post. And I think it will be very interesting to see what kind of designs the community can come up with. So next is going to be the Foundry Assist Pack, which will allow you to download Unity assets from their store, which as the devs showcase here, an example that will be available to us in the update is a sci-fi base building kit, which I am excited about as it allows us players to make our bases look more unique from one another. Now at the end of this dev blog post, they do also tease a blueprint mod that will be released as well but they don't really give any more information on this so yeah as you can see very exciting news for all the people that like to mod games or even if they just want to change it up a little bit to make the game a little bit more exciting while they wait for more updates with more availability within the game but yeah i'll be definitely exploring some of these mods and showcasing what ones are the best to use depending on what kind of playstyle you want and as i said i might even do an ultra hard playthrough where we change all the outputs from the machines to one i think it'll be very interesting to see how big our factory needs to be to be sustainable so yeah nice little short video for you guys just an update on what's to come within the game of foundry and if you want to see how my foundry playthrough is going make sure you click this video on screen now it's been Kryptonite here i'll see you in the next video